Toby the Back Engine. One morning, Toby was delivering some trucks of milk. He came to the bottom of Gordon's Hill. It was very steep, but Toby puffed hard. Just then, Gordon arrived at the bottom of the hill, but today the express was heavy and Gordon got stuck. Bother! puffed Gordon. Soon, Edward puffed to the rescue. He buffered up behind Gordon and pushed. And soon, Gordon pulled ahead. At last, the express train started to move. Toby had finally reached the top of the hill when Gordon puffed past. Slow coach, Gordon huffed. I'm trying me hardest, retorted Toby. Pah, sniffed Gordon. You're not even a proper engine. Toby just ignored Gordon, but his words stuck with him. That night, the fat controller came to see Toby. Edward is needed at the docks, he said. You'll have to work at Wellsworth Yard in his place first thing in the morning. Yes, sir, replied Toby. That's a good steam tram, said the fat controller. You are really setting in well on my railway. The next morning, Toby puffed out of his shed. But he couldn't stop thinking about what Gordon had said. Gordon says I'm not a proper engine, puffed Toby. I hope I can prove him wrong. Toby wished he could, but he didn't know how. At last, Toby arrived at Wellsworth Yard. There were lots of trucks and they had to be organised. If Gordon was here, I could prove to him that I'm a really useful engine, Toby said to himself. And he started to organise the trains. He shunted coal trucks for Henry, slate trucks for Percy, and fruit and vegetable trucks for Thomas. Still useful I am, Toby said proudly, but still though, he wished Gordon was seeing this. Suddenly, Gordon puffed past. He was pulling the express with lots of coaches. Toby watched as Gordon puffed toward the hill. Gordon tried to puff with all of his might, but once again, the express was too heavy. Gordon was stuck. Not again, he said crossly. Gordon's driver called the yard manager and the yard manager came to see Toby. You need to push Gordon to the top of the hill, the yard manager said. Yes, sir, replied Toby. Now for my chance. When Gordon heard that Toby was coming to push him up the hill, he was most indignant. Not that slow coach, Gordon huffed. He's only a steam tram. He would never be able to push me up the hill. Soon, Toby buffered up behind Gordon. Then he pushed with all of his might. He pushed harder and harder. Suddenly, Gordon's wheels started to move. Toby kept pushing. Gordon moved slowly up the hill. When Edward saw Toby pushing, he blew his whistle with encouragement. You can do it, Toby! Go on, old lad! cheered Edward. Toby huffed and puffed, but at last he pushed Gordon right to the top of the hill. Gordon was really impressed. Splendid, Toby! Gordon congratulated. I was very wrong about you earlier. Keep up the good work! Toby felt very proud, but very tired. That night, the fat controller came to see Toby again. Today, you were a very useful engine indeed, he said. Very well done for helping Gordon earlier. Thank you, sir, Toby replied happily. Toby felt very happy indeed.